everybody. It's Wednesday night, and you know what that means. It's time for Pop Dust Preserves. Uh, I'm Brent Butler, and I'm here with Kim Petrus. What's up? And her awesome producer and guitarist, Aaron. And uh, we are going to hear some music from them and talk to them. And if you're a fan and you got questions, uh, you can write a letter to 6 East 32nd Street on the 8th floor. Um, and, and, and we'll, in, in a couple months, we'll review them, we'll pick our favorites, we'll mail them to Kim, and uh, we'll, we'll see if we get any answers. Yeah, and then, <laughs> well, Alex was kind of hell, so I don't um, um, but, but I guess, how did you actually make it happen, right? Like, so you said you wanted to move, you wanted to go to LA, you wanted to be there, you wanted to, you know, get down with some, with some uh, cool cats. <laughs> well, yeah, no, um, so I always did YouTube, YouTube covers when I was like in my like teen years. Um, and this guy kept sending me tracks, and he was from LA, and so I knew one person in LA, and then I saved up and got a ticket and came to LA. And stayed for like two weeks, and then I started going more frequently, like on like tourist trips, like three months at a time, and um, then I got like a little cut in a, in a movie, um, which was awesome, and um, just got to know more people, um, and then got the attention of publishers, and got a publishing deal, and then went to labels, and said what's up to them and played them my record. Um, yeah, it's been like a long journey for sure to like get to actually put out stuff. Um, yeah, and that would be great. And so were you writing songs for other people first? Yeah, totally. I was just like, okay, okay I'm gonna look, get like a big Rihanna cut or a big anybody cut, honestly. And so I was just like writing three songs a day, really, and just really wow. getting good at songwriting. And um, yeah, and then eventually like, um, like famous pop girl like uh, recorded my song. I, I can't say the name because it never came out. Came out, but um, that um, got me the attention of like um, publishers. Yeah. Is she blonde? <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell. Oh, she's so blonde. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can hear. It <laughs> Every pop girl is blonde. <laughs> and maybe it was Rihanna like during a blonde phase or something. Yeah, maybe. Rihanna, Maybe. she's a big fan of the show, so she's watching right now. She knows. You, so know, you know who you are, Rihanna. We're playing yeah. more uh, fan <laughs> comments and or questions. Um, in the meantime, I'm interested, what, where did you learn to song right? Or was there a, a certain, like, was it just from doing covers all the time and, and really just loving pop music? or? Yeah, just like trial and error. It was just like trying over and over. I really sucked in the beginning. Like I wrote a bunch of really freaking bad songs, but I loved songwriting and I was obsessed with songwriters and like looking at the back of CDs and like seeing the same names and all my favorite songs. And I was like, I want to be one of those people who's just like writing all, you know, pop hits. And so I just made it my goal to become really good at songwriting. And awesome. um, yeah, and then wrote a bunch of songs in Germany and then came to LA and really got so much better because I started collaborating with people and before I was always just like in my mom's basement with my laptop like on garage band making demos with like 60 vocal stacks and yeah yeah and then as I learned to like collaborate with people I, I yeah a whole new um, world of songwriting opened. Were you playing an instrument or were you always kind of like doing it electronically with GarageBand and then... Um... Yeah, I, I always made like little beats. That was that was my thing. I was always just like on, on my computer. That's pretty making. badass. Yeah. <laughs> um, Greg is back at it with a question. Greg! Greg! Woo! Woo! He has some good ones. Um, how has the music scene in Germany influenced you and your music? Um... Wow, that's an interesting question. Um, I don't know, honestly. It kind of, I, I feel like I had no choice but to go to LA. <laughs> um, because, like, music in Germany is a lot of really, like, slow guitar, foggy German songwriter songs. So, um, and I was always, like, flashy pop. That was, like, my, my dream to do that. So, yeah, everybody there was always like, oh my god, your music will never work here. It's, like, too pop. <laughs> So, <laughs> so I had to get, yeah, go to America, I guess. He also wants to know uh, if you'll be doing any more performances in New York City. Um, 
Hopefully, definitely, I, I think so. I think next year, hopefully a bunch. I, yeah, last night I had like my first performance in New York and it was so much fun and had the best time. And yeah, can't wait to come back. Oh, we're here. Oh, where was so, it? Where was it? It was at Strut and Amanda Lepore was there and I freaked out and I fangirled really hard. Yeah, <laughs> I got to Oh, yeah, you had a picture on, on Instagram. Yeah. That's way cool. Um, it's funny, you're talking about the German music scene. I feel like it's a lot of techno there in Germany. Whenever I'm in, in Germany, you know? Yeah, that's I mean, that's definitely a scene, but um, I feel like that was like a lot in like the 90s, early 2000s. I feel like that's That was my heyday. Um, <laughs> no, but, uh, that was a burn. I don't know. I have to, I have to go to, I have to, go to uh, like each March I go to Dusseldorf and I feel like you go into like a, a bar there or something like on the main drag it's like constantly techno and then you go over to like Berlin and you end up at like Bergheim or something and it's yeah. like really like industrial like uh, I don't know what genre it is. <laughs> It's just like, um, it's like a sexy nightmare. That's what it's like. I have Berghain. Are you a big fan? No? Berghain? Yeah. I've, I've been. It was fun. Yeah. It was cool. Berghain is cool. Um, are you talking about I don't know Ramstein? what you're talking about. <laughs> you're talking about Romstein, aren't you? Romstein. But, um, no. but that's interesting, though. Uh, the folk music. Actually, there's a... Big fans of the show too. There's a rap group in Germany that I really love, Sixteen, or it's like S X T N. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> you should do a collab. Do you go back to Germany? Was that in the nineties or something? <laughs> oh, come on. So you're the one. You're the one that mentioned a CD earlier. So look at on the back of CDs. For those of you who are young out there, a CD is like an MP3 that you put on like a, a little round mirror. <laughs> And um, you know you can you can do coke off of it. There's different things you can do with it. I don't know. You can throw them at your little brother. Oh, um, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a burn back. That was a back burn. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, it was a so yeah. Um, <laughs> so what what what's next for you in life? Um. I'm doing another music video, not for Hillside Boys, but one for Hillside Boys is coming, um, like in a week from now. So that's really, really cool. I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, and more songs coming up, more collaborations with like a bunch of my friends that I was at the studio, just like songs that I really love. Um, and yeah, just hustling and you know the grind is, is real. That's fantastic. I mean, you're doing <laughs> such a great job. Um, seriously, it's amazing. You've got such Thank supportive you. fans, um, and all the singles are, are really successful. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen next, and hopefully you'll stop by whenever you're in New York. Of course, and, I'm going to have to stop. And now you're the one person in LA that I know. So when I yeah, come through. When I move out there to yeah, let's you know, party. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Side boys, watch out. Yeah. Pop, <laughs> any, uh, pop this party. We'll, 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 yeah. We'll any final questions from the fans? Um. <laughs> Greg says. Greg. <laughs> Greg is trying to take my job. And Greg, I'll tell you what, it doesn't pay. So good luck, buddy. Um. Greg says, follow in the European fashion of releasing physical singles. It would be so cute. So it's more advice than a question. Oh. Like just releasing physical singles? Yeah. I don't know. He says it would be really cute. So yeah, like, that would be adorable. I would love that. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, thanks, Greg. <laughs> I will follow that advice. Greg. He's a good guy. You're the homie, Greg. We love you. Well, Forever you. in our hearts. Thank you to everybody who tuned in. <laughs> and, uh, thank you guys for coming in and performing. It was so cool. Uh, really, really, really appreciative. And uh, I hope. I hope I, I'll be at the, the next show and stuff. So. Yeah, please come through. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.